स्वाति घाटगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वॉल्चन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज सेशन इज एंगुलर एंड लीनियर मेजरमेंट बाय यूजिंग थियोडोलाइट लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन लर्नर विल बी एबल टू कंप्यूट लेंथ एंड बियरिंग ऑफ अ लाइन कंसिडर अ न्यूमरिकल दीज आर द रीडिंग टेकन फ्रॉम द थियोडोलाइट and are obtained in a traverse survey where the length and bearing of the last line were not recorded compute the length and bearing of line da so here line ab is of length 75.5 meter and its bearing is 30 degree 24 minutes line bc is of length 180.50 bearing is 1 1 degree 36 minute line cd is of length 60.25 meter and bearing of line d cd is 210 degree 30 minute and the bearing and the length of line da is missing here so we will compute the bearing and the length of the line da so for that first draw traverse diagram and convert the whole circle bearing of a line in the reduced bearing so the starting point is station a and the bearing of line ab is given 30 degree 24 minute as it is a whole circle bearing so bearing is always measured from the north and in clockwise direction now from station b the whole circle bearing of line bc is measured that is 110 degree 36 minute so 110 degree 36 minute means it is in south east quadrant and this is station c and from station c the bearing of line cd is taken and it is given that it is 21 degree 30 minutes and the last line that is line da is bearing and the length is missing so we will compute this length so to convert um, the whole circle bearing in a reduced bearing in whole circle bearing north is always reference but in reduced bearing references are north and south whichever is the nearer to the line so if we consider first line ab line ab it is near to north end so the 30 degree 24 minutes it is a reduced bearing of the line so for ab whole circle bearing and the reduced bearing is same only but this is not a case for line bc line bc 110 degree 36 minute it is whole circle bearing but if you see the line bc this is line bc it is more near to the south end it is more near to the south end so this is the south end and this is the reduced bearing of the line bc same here for line cd it is again near to the south end Uh, but in clockwise direction the bearing we should be find out now see the calculation of reduced bearing so this is a traverse line as shown here as it is and the reduced bearing of line is taken from the reference north and south so north and south pole are highlighted here see 30 degree 24 minute it is a bearing of line ab and these are the reduced bearing of line bc and cd bearing of line bc is from south pole 69 degree 24 minute bearing of cd is from south pole in clockwise direction it is 30 degree 30 minute we have to determine bearing of line da from station d and length of the line da so the figure 1 is the whole circle bearing and figure 2 is showing the reduced bearing so calculated reduced bearing uh, are shown in the table here so line ab length and whole circle bearing it is a given data and reduced bearing that we just now calculated it is shown here but reduced bearing of line da is uh, not calculated or not knowing let it be theta now compute the latitude and departure 
of the line so first of all we'll see what is mean by latitude and what is mean by departure Let's consider any line oa is the bearing of line oa is theta with reference to north latitude of a line is a distance measured parallel to the north south line so this is a line it is parallel to the north and south line so this is called as a latitude of line oa so this this two thetas they are alternate angle so they must be same so theta um with north it is uh, theta so obviously with the latitude it is also theta because alternate angle are same the length of line oa say l so what is the latitude so latitude is l cos theta because latitude is adjacent to theta and adjacent is always cos so latitude is l cos theta now what is departure departure of the line is the distance measured parallel to the east west line so this horizontal is the departure so this is oe line is horizontal line which is, which is departure and departure is opposite to theta so line opposite to theta means it is l sin theta so departure is l sin theta so always latitude is l cos theta and departure is l sin theta now as per the definition all the lines is in north east quadrant having positive latitude as well as positive departure and the line is in south east quadrant is having latitude minus and departure plus the line is a, is in south west quadrant both latitude as well as departure will be negative and the line is in north west quadrant latitude is plus and departure is minus so these are the sign convention for the latitude and the departure now we will continue with our traverse diagram calculation of latitude and the departure see the line ab is having horizontal and vertical uh, latitude and departure shown here by red color so this latitude is plus because it is towards north and departure is towards east so these both are the in north is quadrant so both are the positive consider line cd so this is a latitude and a departure of line cd departure is towards the west side so it is negative and the latitude is towards the south so it is negative so it is a, it, it is a case of southwest quadrant so in southwest quadrant both latitude and departure both are negative so summation of latitude must be same because we have started from a and we end to the point a horizontally vertically as well as horizontally so summation of latitude must be zero and summation of departure also must be zero and we know that latitude is l cos theta and departure is l sin theta so we will calculate all the latitude and departure of line in the tabular form so see this is a calculation we know the line length and line radius bearing so for the calculation of latitude latitude and departure we will use the radius bearing as per the formula of latitude it is l cos theta so 70.5 into cos 30 degree 24 minute is plus 65.12 similarly for the line bc it is minus 63.50 for line cd it is minus 51.91 but for line da we don't know the length as well as the radius bearing we'll take l as a length and theta is radius bearing so l cos theta it is the latitude of line da now the uh, departure of line ab formula of departure is l sin theta as we discuss in a previous slide so l sin theta is 38.21 for the line ab and for line bc it is plus 168.95 for line cd it is minus 30.50 and for line da it is l sin minus l sin theta as we know that summation of all the latitude must be zero so we will get one equation from here summation of latitude is zero so minus 50.29 plus l cos theta is zero 
and summation of departure is 0 so we get a second equation from this that is 176.59 minus L sin theta is equal to 0. So, L cos theta is equal to 50.29 we get from the equation 1 and L sin theta is 176.59 we get it from the equation 2. Just divide this two equation that is L sin theta divided by L cos theta we get tan theta is equal to this value 3.51. I hope you understand this and from that you calculate the theta that is 74 degree 5 minute. So, this is a bearing of the line 74 degree 5 minute. Now, the bearing of line D A is not 74 degree 5 minute west because its latitude is plus. So, it is along the north direction and its departure is negative. So, it is along the west direction. So, it is in a northwest quadrant. Now, find out the distance D A. So, we have a horizontal distance that is 50.29 and vertical distance 176.59 and it is under root of 50.29 square plus 176.59 square and the length of DA is 183.61 meter. This is my reference for this video. Thank you very much for the watching video.